Jumping up to the North Shore, we're going to talk Medford with Kelly Catalo from Cosmopolitan Real Estate. Kelly, thanks for stopping by. Well, thanks for having me. Now, that's an interesting pocket area just outside the city. What are you seeing for real estate trends right there right now? So we are five miles north of Medford, uh, north of Boston. And what we're seeing is people are getting priced out of Boston, priced out of Cambridge, priced out of Somerville. They're coming right down Route 16 to Medford. Great place to be, it right? It is, and it's bringing a ton of money into the city, but it's also creating another issue. The people that have grown up there can't afford to stay. Why is that? It's our prices have gone up because if you get priced out of one town and you go into the next town and that town's a little bit lower, you'll pay more. So that's helping to drive those prices up. But what's happening is the people that have lived there all their lives that would love to own something, they'll stay. But our amount of renters is growing. So right now we're at 46% renters. Wow, that's a pretty big number. It is a big number. It is a big number. And when you look at the amount of people applying for permits to build high-rise rentals and everything, it's, it's great that it's housing, but we need more home ownership opportunities. Absolutely. Now, are there a lot of multifamilies in Medford? We do. We have a big amount of multis. Um, I wouldn't tell you it's 50% of our market. I'd tell you it's probably about one-third. Okay. But so it, from the rental side, people are renting single-family homes, multi-families, and now there's also apartments coming in. But the single-family home rental is, is an interesting It is interesting. Dynamic. So what's going on across the country is when the Wall Street investors realized how much they could make on real estate, they formed their groups and they're coming in. And if there's like anything entry level, the investors are buying it up, they're holding it and they're renting it. So they know they're gonna make more money on the long run with the increase in the price. They're gonna collect the rent because the rents in Medford right now are not cheap. A two bedroom is gonna go about $1,800. And they're gonna prosper in the end versus if they were to just go sit with their money in the stocks. Well, can't you build a barricade, Kelly, and then you'll block out the I investors? Love to. No, to I your hometown? I block them out, <laughs> but I hate to see anybody blocked out. Yeah, no, I, I hate to, understood. It breaks my heart when somebody comes in and they're like, Cal, I'm ready, I'm going to buy a house, you know, I've been here all my life and I want to stay, and then I That's have fine. to break it to them. Yeah. Not today, you know, and Medford is a great community. Just the conversations we've had in here today, all right, the number of people that everybody seems to know and who know each other. And I always say Medford's the size of a quarter. We have a great, great community. People help out all over the place. We have 90 different organizations that are all volunteer based just within our city. Very so we cool. have very active people in our city and people want to be a part of it. And if you're commuting into the city, there's not much better of a commute so than Medford. So easy. We've got the orange line at Wellington. We've got the purple line commuter rail over in West Medford. We've got the express bus to Boston that comes right down Route 60. Very cool. Now you own Cosmopolitan Real Estate. You have about seven agents working for I you. Do. I do. And when you're, when you're working with these people right now in the market, when it comes to the buy side, how are you advising the people? It's gonna to be tough for a lot of it with people that, that you may have grown up with or from Medford, and you have to teach them the lay of the land. It's not easy to navigate. It's hard, it's hard. So what's happening is most are deciding, okay, I'm gonna wait a year. Where's this market going? None of us know. And they'll sit back and they'll wait, and then they'll come back into the market again and maybe they'll be able to buy then. Is the market going to keep going up? I don't know, do you? I don't. I, I wish no, I knew. I have no <laughs> idea. I want to make everybody a homeowner. I think that what's happening throughout the country is that the rentals are going up for numerous reasons. A lot of people have realized how easy life can be. But on the other hand, the investors have realized how much more money they can make by owning that rental property. But we want homeowners too. You know, We don't want a country that's controlled just by landlords. Absolutely. You know, um, it's that, that fine balance. It's the yin and the yang. So For 15 sure. years ago, I was moving everybody that I went to high school with up to Wilmington and Tewksbury. They raised their kids, and now they're all coming back down. I was just going to ask you that. So for, for people that want to buy now who are looking in the Medford market, the opportunity is not there. Where are they going? I'm taking them to Stoneham. Okay. I think Stoneham, if you don't need the train, 
Stoneham's kind of, it's a great town. They have a great community, wonderful downtown center there, plenty of shopping, easy access on and off the highways. But because they don't have that train, right now they're being overlooked by a lot of people. But if you don't need it, you can go in there, live in a beautiful community, and buy yourself quite a bit more house than what you're going to get closer to Boston. We always talk about that. Uh, recently, we were talking about Winchester and how crazy that market is, right? Yes. And Stoneham is a perfect example, a little bit farther out, and there's really good opportunity. Might not have the train, like you said, right. but it's not that much farther. It's really not. It's surrounded by the Middlesex Fells. It's beautiful. You can run down to the river, the zoo. Lots of great things happening there. All great spaces. Well, yeah. Kelly, thanks for stopping by. And if you'd like to connect with Kelly and her team up at Cosmopolitan Real Estate, you can check out their website at cosmopolitanrealestate.net. And remember, we have more real estate tips just like this one right here on Boston.com.